crisis uh, was profound uh, enough uh, to bring about uh, a genuine policy change, uh, that's what the future generations will conclude. Uh, in fact, uh, to bring about uh, a genuine economic union to match uh, the monetary union. And therefore, the future generations uh, will be able to say that uh, the crisis uh, certainly was not uh, wasted. We're meeting at a very auspicious time, as many of you know. In two days, the European Council will meet uh, to talk, among other things, about the new governance mechanisms uh, for the Euro. Uh, but one of the, the, the hallmarks of our work here at the Lisbon Council is, of course, process is important, uh, but so is substance. We like to look uh, at uh, the, the status, the situation in the countries that, uh, that make up the Eurozone. Um, are they doing their job well? Uh, what is the long-term stability of the currency? And, in fact, how can we be helpful? It is well known that the Euro area is facing the most severe test in its history. At some times, we had the impression that the Euro was actually staring in the face of disintegration. Over time, especially in the five years, major imbalances have developed in the Euro area that had become, and still are, a threat for the credibility of the Euro. We need uh, reinforced uh, and uh, rigorous uh, economic governance uh, for the sake of uh, stable and uh, sustainable growth, uh, which is critical for the employment and uh, welfare of our citizens. Now we know better macroeconomic instability can cause, uh, and indeed does cause, uh, large and uh, long-lasting damage, uh, thus uh, remaining a stubborn policy challenge. Whatever the precise details of the new coordination mechanism will be, the reform must address these shortcomings. This means, in particular, that the member state governments must commit themselves to prudent fiscal policy making and accept that if they deviate from such path, there will be consequences. And I, I really do hope that the little that the semi-automaticity that there is in the current proposals will survive uh, the European Council's deliberations at the end of this week, and even better if one wanted to be really starry-eyed and believe in the miracles the Commissioner mentioned, that the proponents of, of, of stricter rules will manage somehow to shift the emphasis away from the semi and toward the automatic. The Eurozone will end up with uh, tough rules, uh, semi-automatic uh, implementation, an effective framework to deal with broader macroeconomic imbalances. And yes, a permanent crisis resolution mechanism that encourages responsible lending policy by investors and responsible fiscal policy by governments. To my mind, it is only normal that Germany and France agree on uh, key policy issues uh, in the European Union. Uh, but of course, uh, you need uh, 27 member states uh, to every agreement, uh, and uh, even the European Parliament. Uh, that's why I said that uh, this is, uh, we have only seen the, the end of the beginning of the decision-making process. Uh.